Hey y'all, Ms. Z here, and today we will be doing a lesson on another transformation known as the rotation. And I have also split up this lesson into two days. We will be going over counterclockwise rotations today and clockwise rotations in another video. But our essential statement for today is I can rotate a figure counterclockwise. Now, you need to have a basic concept of a clock in this situation. So if you take a look at my pen and I'm going in this motion, okay, this is clockwise because you start at 12, then you go to three, six, nine, back to 12. Okay, this is clockwise. Now counterclockwise is going the opposite way in a clock, 12, nine, six, three, this way, this is counterclockwise. So we will be moving counterclockwise this way, if you look at my pen, this way today. So, couple of things that we need to know first. Well, first, what is a rotation? Well, a rotation is a transformation that turns a figure about a given point. For our lessons, we will be using the origin as our point of rotation, okay? So, our transformation turns a figure about a given point. Point. Okay, let's go over the rules or the algebraic representation of rotations. Now, if we were to be in class, I definitely would um, pull out the patty paper and show you how to use that for rotations. But because we're not, and that's okay, I'll give you the rules, quote unquote, and you can use them to also find your new figure after it's been rotated. Now rotations are measured in 90 degree increments and one rotation is 90 degrees, two is 180, three is 270 degrees, and back to your original figure is 360 and that's why you don't see that in our rules. Now if we are rotating 90 degrees counterclockwise, you take your ordered pair X and Y and what happens to it, okay, you flip the X and the Y, and then you change the sign on the Y. This negative means you're changing the sign to the opposite sign. It doesn't mean you're making it negative, okay? It means you're changing the sign to the opposite sign. So if it was negative, you make it positive. If it's positive, then you can make it negative. So for 180 degrees counterclockwise, you take your X and your Y, and all you do, you leave the numbers, okay, but you change the sign on both the X and the Y. And for 270 degrees counterclockwise, you take your X and your Y, you flip Okay, the ordered pair, but then you leave this one, but you would change the sign on the X. I know it's a little bit confusing, but I think you can do it. Okay, so let's do an example. Okay, now I'll leave the rules up there, but I will also make sure, go ahead and draw out your coordinate plane, make your units as precise as you can, when doing so, remember when you're graphing, it's very important to be super precise because if you're not, your shape or your figure will be kind of skewed and it just looks weird. So be as precise as you can. Use a ruler if you have one. If you don't, use a straight edge, use the side of a book, use an index card, whatever you may have. Okay, so here's our triangle ABC. Point A is at negative 3, 2. Point B is at negative 5, negative 1. And point C is at negative 2, negative 2. Now, our example states, rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees counterclockwise. 90 degrees counterclockwise. So you know that we're going this way because this is counterclockwise. So you know that our figure is going to be somewhere over here in this section. So 90 degrees, you look up here, 
90 degrees counterclockwise. What do I do with my ordered pairs? Well, you have to take, so let's see where A prime will be. Okay, here I drew out what my point should look like. So you flip the numbers. So let me go ahead and flip those. So I have two comma negative three, but then I have to change the sign on this one. So this positive two becomes negative two comma negative three. Notice how I did not make this negative three positive. Sorry if you hear car revving in the background. I don't know what my husband is doing back there, but he's probably working on his car. So I apologize for that. Um, but let me get back to this. So B prime, okay. Let's go ahead and flip the numbers. So negative one, negative five, okay. And then you have to change the sign on this one. So this negative one becomes a positive one. Um, normally, actually, let's go ahead and, oops, erase. And it's not erasing because I drew it on too hard. It's okay, let's leave it positive one. Okay, and then again, notice how I did not remove this negative in front of the five, okay? Because it told me not to touch the X at all again, okay? So next, flip the numbers and that's weird, it's just the same thing. But then the sign changes on our first one and there we go. Let's go ahead and graph this and see if it looks okay. So A prime is at negative two, negative three. So this is A prime, okay. B prime is at positive one, negative five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's B prime. And then C prime is at positive two, negative two. Right here, this is C prime. Looks good to me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect this. <laughs> and there we have it. Um, again, if you look at this, you can see that um, it's been rotated one. Oh, look, okay, I found some patty paper. So let me go ahead and show you. Here's our origin. If you had something like this, you trace your figure and you're like, okay, well, it's going to be rotated one to 90 degrees counterclockwise, which is one turn. One turn goes right here. And oh, look at that. If I was more precise, this would be super precise. But there we have it. That's if you use patty paper. Okay. Um, I have one more example for you for this lesson. All right. Let's say that point Z is at negative four comma two. Now rotate Z 270 degrees counterclockwise. So where would our Z prime be? Well, looking at our rules, 270 degrees counterclockwise, you have to flip your numbers and then change the sign on the X. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my numbers and change the sign on the X. So Z prime would be at positive two, positive four. Yes, I know you don't really put the plus in front, but if you're using a pen, I just did it. If you're using a pencil, super easy to erase. Okay, so next, point Q is at five comma negative seven. Rotate Q 180 degrees. And notice how I didn't say counterclockwise because 180 degrees counterclockwise and clockwise is exactly the same thing. Oh my goodness, mind blown, okay? So what is our rule for 180 degrees counterclockwise? So you leave the numbers, but you change the sign on both of them. So our positive five would be negative five, and our negative seven would be positive seven. And those are our new points. If you have any questions, I know there was a lot of distractions in this video, and I apologize, but it is what it is. Okay, see you later.